Now this is what a game released in 1993 should look like. I mean it's still ugly as hell, but compared to the child's finger painting that is Cliffhanger, Cool World is the Mona Lisa of the NES. Cool World is based on the 1992 Ralph Bakshi film of the same name. If you haven't seen it, it's kind of like a more mature version of Who Framed Roger Rabbit that features live actors interacting with animated characters. Bakshi is a legend amongst animators, but Cool World is arguably his worst film, and a really weird choice for an NES game. Not only was the film rated R, but it also bombed horribly at the time it was released. They should have made a game out of Wizards instead. That would have ruled. So, Cool World. You play as Brad Pitt's character, Harris, who looks like Lou Reed dressed as Leisure Suit Larry. This would make more sense if it was portraying Gabriel Byrne's character from the film, who kinda looks like this, but I checked and no, it's the Pitmeister. You kind of have weapons, a pen, an eraser, and a nickel, but when you press the B button, it also ducks. So one in five times, Harris uses the weapon, and the other four he just drops down like he's doing the worm. The manual says to tap B to use a weapon and hold B to crawl, but trust me, every time you see me crouching down, I'm tapping the button. You can choose from four levels, which I didn't realize at first since you have to use the select button to choose between them. So until I watched a video online, I was just playing the first stage over and over. In the Cool World Street, you wander around this purple, green, and blue avenue full of hamster perverts trying to stroke you to death. It appears as if you can enter some of these doors, but not a one opens. Man, this must be the most club-heavy street in all of existence, and even still, I can't get into any of them. The best is what I'm assuming is the actual club I need to enter, where the green bouncer dudes slowly come together and block you from entering the door. And what you'll see is a pretty horrifically terrible game. This is one of a few decent details. If you keep going to the right, the strip fades away, leaving you to jump over a never-ending succession of cars until... nothing. Dead end. There's nothing you can do here, except turn around and hoof it back to Cool Street. Except now, none of the cars are around to give you a lift. That is exactly how it is in real life. Getting to the bar at 9pm is super easy, getting home from it at 1am is impossible. As I mentioned, the attack is completely broken, but honestly, you don't need to attack anything. The bad guys do very little damage, and they just keep coming no matter how many you kill. Just leap around them and you'll be just fine. I know this game is awful, and it's so easy to pick on retro games with shitty design, but I gotta point out a weird detail here. You don't really need to jump on these ledges until a very specific place, but even if you wanted to, half the time you just fall right on through. That's because Cool World is designed like Double Dragon, where your character is moving in a faux 3D environment, which you can see when Brad Pitt moves this trash can around, but there's really no use for this. Nothing in the fore or background is worth interacting with, and more often than not, just staying straight forward is all you need to do. One of the later levels does require you to maneuver up and down to grab items and whatnot, but it's kind of forcing you to do slightly more than just run to the right and jump repeatedly. So you wander around and you can't figure out where to go. I saw this ladder up here, and after a few failed tries I made it up here to find... more stuff. I was kind of hoping this would lead me somewhere new. Hmm. Well, it turns out you're supposed to throw a bomb at this trash can and then move it over in front of the bouncers who presumably get so grossed out that they just let you pass. Obviously, my first thought is, how the fuck would I know that? But let's just admit that expectations are low here, and Cool World is obviously not above silly cryptic puzzles. So you make it in and there's a boss fight, but try as I might, I can't seem to hurt this dude. I tried every weapon, every angle. Nothing. I looked it up and you need to jump across this electric art sign in the background to enter that sweet snake door. To say this is easier said than done is the overstatement of the century. But how many jumps is that in total? Four? Can it really be that bad? Sweet Jesus, yes it can. Because of how stocked your health bar is, this game gives you 8 million tries to attempt this. But by doing so, it's just making this experience so much more painful. Here's a sped up version of my many, many attempts to make it. And after trying this 24 times, seriously, I counted, I decided maybe it's time to move on to a different stage. Each level is extremely long, and all you do is run left to right. In one stage you ride a skateboard, but it's the same experience, just with added frustration. Although I gotta admit, Brad Pitt looks pretty cool carving that asphalt in his white suit. I've never seen stages with such dedicated length to them. They just go on and on and on. 
It's like the developers knew they fucked up with the combat, the jumping, the enemy AI, and really everything to do with gameplay, so they compensated by making your character super resistant to damage and the level's torturous journeys of repetition and boredom. Otherwise, I feel like this game should instead be insanely hard with one-hit deaths, but with way shorter and more linear level designs. And yet, even with this droll, predictable experience, I can never figure out where the fuck I'm going. I always, always end up all the way on the right, where cars fear to dread, before trekking it all the way back in the other direction. It's needlessly obtuse, even for an adventure title. This game has way more in common with something like, say, Bart vs. Space Mutants, than it does with Nightshade. The music would be decent enough, but good lord that backing track is like the death screams of a broken NES. Whenever your character jumps, it causes the main melody, which is pretty normal sounding, to cut out, which means you're stuck listening to the mating call of two rusty clock gears in heat. Just listen to the section where the sound of the bouncing candy cane disrupts the music. And of course, the same grating tune repeats on every level. I know Sartre said that hell is other people, but Cool World is making an equally strong case. I didn't play this game to the end. I mean, I'm committed to showing y'all as much as I can, but not so much that I might find myself committed after this game finishes microwaving my brain. Apparently, at the end, you fight Kim Basinger's Hollywood by launching balloons at her from below, which is about the least cool thing I've ever said out loud about any activity I didn't have the patience to do. Spoiler alert!